We just came up, we're up on the P1 level now. The panel part is, you look, you see it's similar, right? We've got the same disconnect and what have you. We've tucked it together, we've got it back below. This is actually just almost exactly below where the other one was. The other interesting piece and the reason I wanted to come up to the P1 level, if you look up above this little box with the antennas, this is typical of a installation that's networked. These networked uh, installations need communication. They communicate to the internet, whether it's through a GSM phone signal, whether it's through Wi-Fi, some means or other, they need to communicate. That's how they're doing their power sharing. That's how they're doing their billing. The reason that, not surprisingly, this is on the P1 level, we need to get closer to where we can grab a signal. In this particular case, if we need to, the chargers are fairly close by and only one uh, signal uh, communicator is needed. If we need more, we'll put more on the other floors. We'll put them where we're needing them. And actually the systems tend to build on each other as each charger gets put in, one talks to the next and uh, it actually sort of a mesh system. We need to be moving away from the idea of a residential home charger with no communication, no billing, no power sharing. Sometimes that solves a problem for one, but we need to think further, like, like one Bedford has, we need to think further. The, we, today we don't see too many electric vehicles down here, but it's a good chance that's gonna change. And if it changes, it's great, they're ready for it. And if it didn't change, they're ready for it anyways. It's adding value to the building. Let's um, walk over, find a charger. So right, we're communicating to the internet. So now the charger can talk. And what, what are we doing with that, uh, with that information? So let's go take a peek.